And with an excessive heat watch in place for tomorrow and Tuesday, 250 cooling center locations will be open for residents to get relief from the heat. NBC 5's Courtney Sisk is live at North Avenue Beach to talk to us about those warnings and also ways to find relief. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Natalie. Certainly a lot of people are out here at North Avenue Beach finding ways to stay cool and also enjoying today's temperatures, but that's likely going to be a different story as we move into Monday and Tuesday. The National Weather Service saying heat indexes could be around 105 up to possibly 110 degrees on Monday and Tuesday. The Office of Emergency Management and Communication says there are outreach efforts on the streets to bring those staying outside to cooling centers. The Department of Family and Support Services will also send out robo calls to seniors in their network to warn them of extreme heat. They recommend staying hydrated and indoors, minimize using stoves or ovens, and wear loose clothing. Chicago Public Schools also head back to class tomorrow. They say all the classrooms have air conditioning, but they ask guardians to dress kids in light, loose-fitting clothes and send them to school with a full water bottle. All outdoor activities and practices are either moved indoors or canceled from Monday and Tuesday. It's a sunny hot, right? Um, I can feel the sun beating down, but it's it's nice. I don't complain because it is cold here in the winter. So doesn't matter that it's just after five o'clock. We still feel the sun very strong out here at the beach. We have a list of cooling centers on NBCChicago.com. And then coming up at 10, we'll share more from doctors and those finding relief at some of the cooling centers across the city. For now, reporting live at North Avenue Beach, Courtney Sisk, NBC5 News. Always good reminders. Thanks, Courtney.